The holidays are over. People want to lose that holiday weight. They want to get to a more healthy lifestyle. I want to eat better. What does that mean? It's not specific. So I always like to encourage our clients and to have smart goals. What are smart goals? They're smart, they're measurable, they're attainable, they're realistic, and they're timely. So let's break it down just a little bit. I want to lose weight, not a specific goal. I want to lose five pounds in three months. Well, there it's specific and you also captured your time table on there with three months. It needs to be measurable. I want to lose weight. You can't measure that, but you have a specific amount that you want to lose is measurable. It has to be attainable. I know a lot of people say, I want to wear my uh, bikini by springtime and they need to lose 100 pounds, 200 pounds. That's not attainable. That's not realistic. And it's also important to write it down. A lot of times we can think about it. We might remember it, but then the next day we forget about it. Put it on a place where you're going to uh, see these goals. Is it going to be on your refrigerator? Maybe in your mirror in your bathroom, maybe on your dresser, but you need to be able to see the goals and that way you can progress and reach these goals. Now it's important. A lot of times we have good days, we have bad days and we have in between days. You don't beat yourself up over it. You keep moving forward. You keep progressing and it shouldn't be all about worrying what I should and shouldn't eat. It needs to be a well-balanced diet. It needs to be a, a well-balanced lifestyle. It's about working your mind too. Obviously outdoor physical activity, whether that's walking or going to the gym to do weight training is so important, but you also have to exercise your mind. A lot of times it's a heck of a lot easier to say negative thoughts, negative things about yourself than to think the good thoughts. So you have to train your mind to focus on the positive. And those can be from reading a book. It could be from uh, taking a walk, learning a new instrument, just learning new things. That's another way of helping your mind and helping you stay healthy.